Good morning, and I hope you've been well, and this is part 22 of the Night in the Woods Let's Play. So yeah, first of all, yes, I know, I'm bad, I'm terrible, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads, it's been like two weeks, way, way too long, um, but we're gonna change that. I'm hoping today I will have three to four videos of Nine to Woods pre-recorded and we're gonna get back on track with playing more of this game so yeah I know I've been on this rant many many times work and other stuff I've just been very busy things have been pretty hectic and yeah it's not really an excuse because there definitely is time to play Night in the Woods and I know I've been very uh, lacking on rejuvenation as well. I apologize for that, but um, yeah. The goal for the weekend is just to have a more kind of like chillaxing weekend. Maybe. We'll see how long that goes, but um, I don't know. I'm hoping to really get back on track with uploads and whatnot and get things pre recorded and try to do better with uploads, so yeah. But we shall see how that goes. Before we go into the main town, though, I kind of want to... Okay. So we can't go back there. But I guess we can go this way. I guess we'll kind of hop on here a little bit. I guess what I'll do, I'll pause here until I make it to the town. Alrighty. Oh, okay, cool. So this guy's back then. Um... I believe I, oops, here, here, there we go. What stars do we have to see today? May, Mr. Chazokov, however you say that. I'm just gonna say Chaz for, for short. You look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself. Lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it. Come have a look. Alrighty, let's um... Oh, here we go. Okay. I guess we'll kind of keep... Oh. There you are. I think I got one. Let's see. Oh, who are you? Cole the Mountaineer. Ah, a fellow mound man. Let's go. Cole? Knew a guy named Cole once? That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever Midwest or of whatever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains. I already like this guy already. And devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat. Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. Not really. Um. I think it kind of like depends on the person. Because like yeah some people are very adventurous. And want to explore and try something new. But there's also some, like me, that are just kind of like, I like home. I like where I grew up in. I don't really, like, have an, I, like, have, like, a desire to really get out there much. Sure, we'll go with yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same way, but I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's really a specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. 
Oh, okay, cool. So there's got some more stars to look into. Let's go down a little. Oh. Okay, not you. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, which one is this? Oh, I think I... Wasn't that one of them from the nightmare? Maybe I'm mistaken, but I don't know why. It looks kind of like familiar. Adina Astra, however you say that. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina's stories when I was a kid, so you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head and how she has... she was never seen again. Yeah. Whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. It's kind of a fair point. No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool crap. Oh my. Yeah, so, whatever. Oh, that's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Oh, hold up. Let's check out our book here. So that's a new one there. A skull hole, little Joe's skull. Must be avenged. A <laughs> grave digger, all right. I think, um, okay, there's that one guy. Harfest, three weird teens. You mean the three wise teens? Looks about the same besides maybe a couple of new things. Uh, let's see, can I... I kind of want to get off the... There we go. Let's take a look around. Talk to our favorite guys here. Bad weather coming soon? I feel it in my bones. Thank you for that. Alright. You got a new uh, poem for me? Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem cheer you up? No, no. We, we definitely want a poem. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report life is too short. Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay. Um, Chaz is up there again. He ever, like, dropped that telescope? Oh no, he cries eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is not, oh, sorry, he is hot as hell. You talk to him? Now, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Thank you, Selmers. 
Alrighty, so let's, um, let's make our way. Right, before we go talk to, um, our friends and all of that, let me, well, actually, well, yeah, before we go talk to the friends, let me go here. And then I believe we got to go, right, we could choose Greg or Angus to go with. We're definitely going to go with Angus since that was kind of like recommended to me before that let's do some exploring hey can you do me a favor sure can you tell pastor Kate something for me sure but don't tell her this till tomorrow can you do that? Oh god, I'm gonna forget that. Uh, let me... that down because I'm totally gonna forget that sure tell her I said thank you and I'm sorry I caused her trouble but I'm not worth throwing away her job she's the pastor after all folks need her why am I telling her this are you leaving yep gonna hop a train tonight headed east where will you go I'm going home wow really Never gonna touch a bottle again, never gonna lift a hand to no man again, sit on my daughter's front porch, watch my grandbabies play in the yard, they all be there. Gonna get off that train, my kids are gonna be there, they'll have a sign they made, nothing fancy, poster board and markers, welcome home dad, and I'll be home. That sounds great Bruce, yep yep, thanks for talking to me was nice to get to know you you too bruce gonna miss you we'll all meet again i hope so hope's important it's the last thing you got you take care of yourself you too may i'll be fine you know i'm an old hand at this maybe older than i should ever have gotten to but i'll be fine see you around bruce goodbye may Good for him. Alrighty. Hopefully he actually does like go through with that and actually is like telling the truth on that, but we'll see how it plays out in the future. Let's see here. I know we'll go to the uh, church here. Alrighty. Let's go check this out here. Oh well. Because there will be children here, and this is a historic church that's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have pr poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring business into the town. Business means jobs and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention off the market and have a half dead church stack full of bums. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. I wonder what that was all about. 
Maybe about the one guy. A stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever, it's out of our hands now, but there are better... They are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been really rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? It was a dream. I don't think it was a dream. I'm gonna go, it was a dream for now. It was a dream, but God talks to us that way, right? Sure. Can you tell me about it? I was in the desert. I would say it was more like a shore than a desert, but I might be wrong, honestly. It was, a, it was like a shore of this giant black ocean. I could see like forever into the sky and below it was just sand. As far as I could see, I was wandering through it, but I was like drawn to something. And I came up over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God, just sitting there, up on another hill. Or dune, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They, like, didn't care. Um... They like didn't care. They didn't care if you were there. No, I mean, they didn't care. In general, they went on and on about how annoyed they were, that people kept coming to them with questions, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. Sorry, that's my chair. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about how nothing matters. This giant hole. I'm gonna go this one. How nothing matters. Like the universe is ending, and everything is being forgotten. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes. I'm gonna go with no, because, like, you've been around, like, so many, like, friends, family, and whatnot. I wouldn't say... I mean, no, don't get me wrong. Even with friends and family, and just being around people in general, doesn't mean that you aren't lonely. Like, being lonely, the feeling of lonely, can definitely still be, you know, within you, even with, you know, the circumstances of, you know, being around friends and family. But, like, I'm gonna say no for this one for May. No, I mean, I've got friends. I've been with them ever since, every day since I got home. But, hmm. There's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I guess. Okay, well, that's kind of a... Hmm. See, and it's an interesting thing, though, getting into, like, the debate on, like, religion and whatnot. I'm not here to get into that that, that debate here. Um, I know, like, kind of, like, growing up in, like, a very... I'm going to call it a strict Christian family. Like, that's kind of, like, what we grew up with and whatnot. I personally am not really Christian anymore because of certain stuff that I'm not going to get into. But, but anyways, skipping that. Um... I would say more than ever, I'm more so agnostic. Like, I believe in the potential of, you know, God or gods potentially being real and whatnot. But it's more so... Let me word it this way. I would rather when death finally arrives, whenever it does, could be today, could be tomorrow, could be 50 years from now. I don't know. But whenever it does arrive, 
I would prefer not a heaven, not a hell, no weird reincarnation or whatever thing that happens after death of whatever religion that you believe in. I would rather just be nothing. You're done. It's over. You had a good run. You had a lot of fun. You had a lot of, you know, bad moments. But you're done. It's somebody else's turn to, you know, play life, do their own thing. And then the cycle continues until the sun says goodbye, Earth. So, yeah. That's my whole process on it. I would much prefer that than like a heaven or a hell or anything like that, you know? But, again, to be fair, I like to be optimistic about some things, you know? Maybe it is real. Maybe it is true. And potentially, you know, yeah, it could be a thing. There are things that I believe that it can make sense that there is a higher power out there that created all of this. I believe in that. I believe it's very possible. But... I guess just because of like certain things, I just choose not to really follow it, so... Yeah. Sorry for the chair squeak there. And that reminds me... God, if you are real, I stand firm on my offer. I just want to talk. Let's talk for a moment, and... We'll see what happens, but... Unfortunately, God has not accepted my invite yet. I guess. I don't think I believe in God anymore. I'm gonna go if I guess. Sometimes that's got it. That's the best you've got. Yeah. I feel like that's maybe not a good enough answer for you. Is that a good enough answer for anyone? Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally, someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do, but there are times where I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do, and even you're not sure, it's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others, but you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believe that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there, whether anyone is watching, anyone who gives a crap. No, but then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. Okay, somehow May actually gained some brain cells there for a moment. You know, because, like, again, like, it, it's, like, it, it's a really, like, realistic thing, though. Because it's, like, again, like, I, I don't think May's trying to be, like, disrespectful by any means. But, like, it, it's a really simple debate. Like, here's the thing. Like, you hear from, like, Christians and whatnot. Like, sometimes, you know, like, my faith, like, wavers. Like, I get questionable about some things. Like, is God really listening? Is God really helping me when things are going rough and whatnot? Like, is he really there? Does he really care? And again, like, it's it's okay to, like, debate those things. And again, like, calling her out there. Like, you know, you say that, you push it. And I'm, again, like, you can't be a pastor and just be like, well, maybe is or isn't up there. Like, no, like, you, you gotta, you know, you gotta preach the word if you're gonna be a pastor, right? But... Again, I think May is on the right track there, just kind of like calling that out. But like, that's lying though. Like, the word says not the lie. And even you yourself, you just don't get that. But on the flip side though, Christian or not, and, and this is where I'm going to, you know, stand by the pastor for a moment as well. It's normal. I think most, if not all Christians at some given point, in, in any religion, I feel... Maybe not all religions, but the majority of them. I bet there are some things that go on that you just feel like your faith's a little weak. Like, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but I just don't feel like you're there, God. Or whatever gods you believe in, you know. Like, I, I just, I, I don't feel that love. I just don't feel it. It's rough, it's hard, it's difficult. And it keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Where are you? I need you. I understand both sides is pretty much where I'm coming from. I... 
I understand like the emotions of like the pastor and whatnot, but I also understand what May's trying to like bring up and say as well. I'll leave it at that. Let's see here. Hey hon, are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hun. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Oh, come on. Er, sorry. Come on, Sunday, it's full then. I bet it is. Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. May, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mom. See ya, daughters. I still don't want to forget about this room here. I wonder if we'll ever get like a key or something at some given point though. I guess we'll find out. I'm kind of curious, if we talk to the pastor, I doubt Bruce would say anything different, but I am curious. There you are. No, he doesn't. All right, you take care, Bruce. I'm heading into town. Actually, I'll, I'll just pause here because it'll be a minute before I can get there. Alrighty, we are back into town. Let's go. Actually. Anything new here? I don't think so. Alrighty. Guess we'll go on down here then. I guess the one lady isn't here today. Alrighty. Well, these guys are here. So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like, the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone here? Anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulve. Mulve? You know someone from Mulve? Yeah. Do you know where Mulve is? Do you know what Mulve is? No. I heard about Mulve. My dad drives a bread truck. I, I don't know why I almost said beer truck. Mauve used to be one of his stops. What happened? He don't stop there no more, sorry. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mauve? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to get back in the sun now. So wonder what was up with that. Because I don't remember anything about Mulvey, unless it was on one of the computer. Um, like prompts when we were at the library? Maybe. Okay, so Angus is in there. I, I want to wait on that. Since it'll get into like the main story stuff. Well, let's go check up on B real quick then. Alright, sorry for the pause there. Hey B. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof, what are you up to today? Wandering around town? Uh, whatever you want to do. I'm wandering around town. Have fun. Oof, what are you up to today? Uh, 
Alrighty. I know we already did the one thing with B though, so I, I don't know what else we would like do with her though. I don't know. But for now, let me uh, go this way. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because I know there's a certain mouse that is writing a movie. Well, you look happy. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. Well, you have fun with that. There you are. Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sounds good, actually. Oh, good, good. Let's go. Totally. Let's. Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights from last year still up. Someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year and we left them out for too long and they like liquefied. Gross. Oh yeah, I remember that happening to one of ours. My mom was so mad at my dad. It was like his job to get rid of them. He had to like mop it up. I've seen like a time lapse video of when a corpse decays and like everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yep. Okay, so like a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. Oh, what? I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. That sounds dangerous. Why? I don't know. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that where you are so excited you go to sleep? Coffee makes me sleepy. I have stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. I don't remember my dreams. Something, or sorry, sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes, but sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business here, or there, sorry. I have weird thoughts, like sometimes I want to go to sleep in the woods or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day and only come out at night and be like a monster and like beautiful. I know the feeling. Those are like really, really attainable dreams. Oh, I'm not beautiful. Oh, you're fine. No one your age likes how they look. I'm objectively gross. Way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Yay. Your little metal guy is all... Wow. He repents the human soul. This is important art. Well, I gotta get rolling. Okay. Let's roll. Later. That's kind of cool. I wonder what that escape was. Oh. The journal. Right. Let's see here. I didn't see anything else down there. So I guess we can go this way. Uh, video. That's where Angus is, right? 
Right. We'll do that. Not this episode. Next episode. I, I want to get some exploring uh, done and getting that all out of the way. Uh, let me... Was there anything in the apartments, honestly? Got this. What's in the news? Coyote wandered into Snack Falcon out past Brittle. Just like walked in. Yep, sat in the sandwich cooler. Did it eat a sandwich? According to this, the coyote just stared at the cashier. That's spooky. Coyote's a spooky animal. Thanks for the news. Let's see. Um... I think that's it for that. Let's go up here. So I say to her, Maybell, get off the dang table. And she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true, we both danced on the table nearly broke the thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. Alrighty. At least had fun dancing on the table. Let's see. Was there anything up here? I don't think so. Question mark. I don't think I can get on that, can I? No. Okay. Let's see. Maybe germs over here. Oh, you're new. Let me look over here. Alrighty. I guess we'll see what this is all about. Hey. Hey, Angel. This is my friend, May. Hey, May. What's up? Cool name. Uh, gracias, however you pronounce that correctly. Uh, much obliged. Angel's just in town between tran... trans... trains. Going west next. Yeah, then sell for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Have you ever heard anything about ghosts in a town? Hmm. I'd rather know about Cassie, honestly. Hmm, let me think. You know what he or she look like? He, he looked kind of like me, a little taller, orangish hair. Nah, man, I don't recall. But I've seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. They wouldn't happen to be a cult group out there, would it? I tell you what, I'll ask around and if I find him or someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks, that means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world run by the worst people. And good men die for God knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know. Yeah. Thanks again. What's traveling like? Uh, good, good. Never could stay in one spot. I have, like, the exact opposite problem. Alright, partner. Time for me to shove off. See ya, angel. Stay safe. Adios. Well, that's over. No fun. No fun. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost germ. A real life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Jeez. Well, dinner time. See ya. Well, you take care, germ. I think that's pretty much everything. I 
I guess we could check up on Greg. Might as well before we go to Angus. Let's see what you're up to. Sup, dude. Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of a... Blank. Huh. Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushie? To replace the idea of caring of a caring god. I could throw in some chips. I'm good. So what's up? Just checking in. You have checked in officially. I checked thee. Thanks, Greg. Alrighty. Uh, let's see here. I guess what we can do then is, oh, that's new. You are also new. Oh, probably the conversation about people liquefying and all that kind of stuff. But alrighty. I think with that being said, since we are like 40 minutes in, uh, that's a good spot to end off today's episode. So yeah, next episode we'll get into the whole Angus thing. And like I brought it before, I apologize for the lack of uploads. Um, today I plan to get a few more pre-recorded, so we have about three to four in total. And then we'll try to get back on track of Nine in the Woods. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.